In this video, we will talk about the physiological splitting of the second heart sound. Let's get started. The cardiac cycle has two phases, systole and diastole. Now, a total of four heart sounds are produced during a cardiac cycle. First, second, third and fourth. Out of them, the first two sounds are the main physiological sounds. The first sound is produced due to the closure of atrioventricular valves at the beginning of the systole and the second sound is produced due to the closure of semilunar valves at the end of the systole. Today's discussion is on this second sound. There are two valves involved in the generation of this sound. The aortic valve between the left ventricle and the aorta and the pulmonary valve between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. So actually, there are two components of the second heart sound, A2 or aortic component due to closure of the aortic valve and P2 or pulmonary component due to closure of the pulmonary valve. The pressure in the aorta is higher than that in the pulmonary artery. So normally, the aortic valve closes slightly earlier and then the pulmonary valve closes. Because of this, the sound of closure of aortic valve is produced a bit early and then the sound of pulmonary valve is produced. Thus, there is a splitting of S2 into A2 and P2 components. Now during deep inspiration, this splitting is accentuated. Let's understand how this happens. In this diagram, this boundary represents the thoracic cage and these are lungs. The right heart receives blood from all over the body and the left heart receives blood from the lungs. Now, during deep inspiration, the thoracic cage expands. So, intrathoracic pressure decreases. So, venous return to right heart increases. But at the same time, expansion of the lungs tend to hold blood in the lung itself. So, the amount of blood entering into the left ventricle decreases. Thus, during deep inspiration, right ventricle receives more blood as compared to the left ventricle. So during systole, the left ventricle ejects its amount early. So the aortic valve closes early. However, for the right ventricle, it takes a bit longer to eject this extra amount. So the pulmonary valve closes little later than usual. So the pulmonary component of the second heart sound is heard later than usual. Thus, the splitting of the second heart sound becomes more prominent during deep inspiration. I hope you now have clear idea about the physiological splitting of second heart sound. Apart from this, the splitting can occur in some pathological conditions also. But that's a topic for a separate video. Now let's have a quick summary. The closure of semilunar valves produces the second heart sound. The semilunar valves include the aortic valve and pulmonary valve. Normally, the higher pressure in the aorta causes the aortic valve to close a little early. So there is a splitting of second heart sound into aortic and pulmonary components. During deep inspiration, the right ventricle receives more blood as compared to the left ventricle. So it takes longer for right ventricle to eject this extra amount and the pulmonary valve closes a little later. So the splitting becomes more prominent during deep inspiration. That's it for this video. If you feel this video will help your friends and colleagues, please share it with them too. And don't forget to subscribe because lots more to come. At Nonstop Neuron, learning medical concepts is as easy as watching cartoons. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.